In the United States, registering a license plate for a new car takes about several minutes. Assuming you have a valid driver's license insurance, anyone can get a new license plate for about $100. In China, the demand for a new license plate in big cities has become so high and now it costs nearly $50,000. The same price for a brand new Nissan Versa. So take Shanghai, my hometown, as an example. Shanghai uses an auction system to allow buying for a limited number of license plates. And the Shanghai license plates are known as the most expensive piece of metal in the world, as the transaction cost skyrocketed from 50,000 yuan in 2012 to 90,000 yuan in 2020. And that's nearly 16 months worth of salary for a typical office worker in Shanghai. Wow, it's really a luxury good. An auction is held on the third Saturday of each month, and about 8,000 license plates are issued each time. If you want to participate in an auction, first you need to go to bank and put down 2,000 yuan deposit in order to get an account number and a computer disk. That computer disk has a program that connects to a system which allows participants to bid, and the participant has only three chances to bid. So why a license plate costs more than a car? Overwhelming congestion and dangerous level of local pollution are the primary drivers. Shanghai imposes severe restriction on car ownership among residents in order to tackle traffic congestion and pollution. Actually, biting on Shanghai license plates is even crazier than traffic itself. A lot of participants, they hand over the entire process to auction agent and you just need to pay 10,000 yuan for this kind of service. And such service can be easily found on Taobao. A lot of auction agents, they offer no win, no fee warranty. So why people are so crazy about getting a Shanghai license plate? First, it's about social status and wealth. A lot of people are proud of being Shanghainese. Shanghainese consider themselves as the most sophisticated and modern population in China. If you have a Shanghai license plate, that means you are definitely not poor and you lead a decent life. For those non-local license plate holders, they cannot drive on highways during peak hours, which sucks. Therefore, getting placed outside of Shanghai is a less appealing option, driving a lot of people to Shanghai local license plates. Most importantly, road space is a scarce resource. High prices for scarce resources ensure that these resources will be only used for high-valued purposes. If people don't buy license plates now, it's most likely the price will be even higher next year because there's not enough resource for everybody. So that's why a lot of people, they want to get license plate as soon as possible. Are you willing to pay $15,000 for a license plate? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.